Cherry Stride led 27 9 the quarter. Elier is out and running. They were followed by one of the boulders, Rock and Roll Emma, getting up on the inside over Make Mind Heaven. Gage almost hitting empty for Cherry Stride. She's going to have to lift Elier. Sidles up alongside. Elier puts the head in front. Cherry Stride's trying to raise another effort. Elier's in front. Group one glory for Elier. Elier has beaten Cherry Stride and they were lined up for third. You had Don't Think Twice, Rock and Roll Emma running a mighty race with Make Mine Heaven and She's Sugar Sweet. Behind those million dollar gem, Royal Story, Rubies for Tash, She's All Apples, 28, 152, three, and Dennis Picker wins a group one. Yeah, it was, uh, didn't really know till we got right to the line, but um, yeah, I was always quite confident as we turned for home and um, yeah, it's just just amazing that she got there in the end. Yeah. yeah. Well, the race panned out pretty well for you, didn't it? Yeah, I sort of thought it'd probably be three fence, um, but yeah, we stirred her up a bit today, and she got out of the gate good. Um, yeah, and hold, able to hold the leaders, the leaders back. So yeah, I was stoked when that happened, even, and um, it was always going to put us in a good position then. Yeah. yeah. Well, she's won five races to date. Now she's got a 152.3 mile rate to her name. What is the plans for this mare? Um, yeah, I might take it to Queensland actually in a couple of weeks and um, just give her a couple of starts up there and uh, then she'll probably just come home and go to the paddock for a while and yeah, we'll work it out then I guess, yeah. Now you're, um, you're, you shear a bit of sheep, you have a farm, you've got cattle as well, um, yeah, fit in horses somehow and you're having a bit of success lately. Yeah, we've had a pretty good season again with the horses. That, um, they take up a lot of time, as everyone knows. And um, but yeah, you know, after we got the horses done each day, we have to go to work then. So um, like a lot of people, I suppose. But yeah, it's a good mix, just being on the farm and having the horses as well. Yeah. All right, and just back to El yeah, the uh, owner Matthew Nagel, he bred her as well. A uh, pretty good story for him. Yeah, he, he bought a mare. I, I bought Maddie a race mare about five or six years ago. Um, Runaway L, her name was, and um, we won a couple of races with her and had a bit of fun. That was the first horse Matt ever had, and um, I said it was sort of time to retire, and so you, of course, got her in foal, and then this is the first foal, so uh, yeah, you couldn't uh, couldn't write a better story, really, yeah.